Okay, folks, let's talk safety here for a minute. Uh, we're fixing to get into some paint and some airbrushing. So I want you guys to know that uh, you need to have some good ventilation. If you're going to be painting in a closed area, or any area for that matter, you need to have a good source of clean air. And this is a good product, uh, carbon charcoal filter. And uh, you need to wear one of these when you are working with any type of uh, air, airborne, aerosol, any type of uh, product that you spray. Uh, do I use it all the time? No, I'm guilty of that. Um, I've been doing this for 10, 15, 20 years and uh, I can tell you that I probably don't use it more than I do use it. And as a result, I do have some uh, respiratory problems and uh, I say that it is due directly to me not using a good uh, respirator. Uh, you know, you tell yourself, oh, it's just one helmet, oh, it's just one tank, it's just one this, it's just one that. Well, after so many ones of 10 years, 15 years, uh, that's a lot of paint that you're breathing in. So uh, let's try to be safe and let's, let's try to keep you around for a little while. Um, so, not too much on this. Think smart, be smart, and uh, have proper ventilation and something, a good uh, paint mask. Um, as you can see in the background, we do more than just painting here. We do big signs as well, big banners and things like that. Um, I'm here by myself. It's um, 8.30 at night. This is pretty typical. Uh, I hang around and... Uh, do my paint work while nobody's here. Uh, usually till anywhere from 10, 12, 1 o'clock in the morning, sometimes later than that. So I don't have anybody helping me on the camera right now, so I've got it on a tripod. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk through here and uh, we're going to go into the uh, into the warehouse and um, show you some stuff here. Um, this is my uh, paint gun. It is an Iwata HP100, I believe it is. Uh, LPH 100 and I've had this gun for probably four five six years now and it's a fantastic gun never had to rebuild it it's a really good gun the little top turns and moves so you can paint upside down and sideways and all kinds of stuff uh, this is the amount of paint I'm going to use I can get a lot with this paint uh, whenever I paint I paint dry and a lot of people don't quite understand that but I paint dry I have friends in the paint business who uh, paint wet, stuff is dripping and running off, and they use a gallon of paint where I use uh, just small amounts. And they just don't understand uh, why I can do what I do with such little paint. Well, it's, I think it's because I paint dry and I make sure I get the paint where I want it to go. Um, what I'm going to do here, to show you some areas here that you need to be careful about. If you put your blue line tape on and you let it set overnight, which this is why I like to stay late and paint because I've worked all day putting my blue line on and taping it off. If I come in in the morning, sometimes in these little areas right here, uh, the paint will actually shrink up or the tape will shrink up and it'll leave a little small gum adhesive right here. And if you're not pinstriping your work, uh, what happens is that that sticky gooey tape adhesive, uh, as this has shrunk up, um, will actually become a mask as well, but it's a real cruddy mask. And when you paint and you wipe it all off and clean it up, then you've got a bunch of uh, breaks and tears and different things. It just doesn't look very professional. So uh, beware of that. Uh, if you do come in in the morning and it has stretched out a little bit and has let that residue, take you some uh, wax and grease remover and gently clean these areas and make sure that your, uh, your curves haven't flattened out. Sometimes these will flatten out. You just make sure that you've got them all uh, curved and uh, that they're still as you had it when you left uh, to go home. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do some painting now. I'm going to put the camera down and um, the air compressor may come on and I'm going to turn on my ventilation booth. I have a small ventilation booth right there. Uh, it is a bench top ventilation. Uh, it's good for painting helmets and different things like that. I don't have a spray booth. I wish I did but uh, this works for me and um, it could work for you. So whatever the situation is that you have, 
you make the best out of what you you got. Um, I'm going to move this camera here so you guys can see as I paint. Hopefully I won't stand in your way. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn on the... Uh, turn on fan. laying around the shop and if you don't be careful I'm using silver paint right now. Silver paint will get on all everything you got so uh, kind of put those little extra parts away if you don't want to paint on them or uh, make sure that you're going to paint it later or something like that. But I'm going to do some paint now for you. because the paint, the room is full of air, uh, paint, and um, uh, hopefully uh, this has been helpful for you. The next video I have will be of me uh, laying out skulls, 
and uh, applying airbrush black and white artwork and then uh, the final video will be uh, putting red candy over the top of all this. We want to have this. This could be silver, this could be gold, this could be blue or black. It could be any color that you want with candy over the top of it. But I'm going to show you how we do it and it's pretty simple and um, you should be able to learn something from the video. I'll see you on the next one.